Hey guys, Katrina here, this Ever Wheelie. Welcome back to my channel. Just after going shopping there and Dad sitting outside uh, for his uh, cigarette. He's given up the smoking soon, so I made him sit outside the car instead of sitting in the driver's seat. Maybe one day. Not right now. We've got some good news for you all. Finally. Hello, I'm, as we all know, I'm Katrina's dad. I've been diagnosed with a rectal tumour, which is a type of cancer. I got in a letter last week. Uh, I have to go for an appointment on the 17th of this month. And I phoned him up on Friday and asked him about the appointment, what it was for. They said it was a one-off treatment but they wouldn't tell me what kind of treatment, so I don't know where it's going to be radiotherapy or chemotherapy or both, or are they going to remove the tumour? So, I'm still, I'm not worried about it. I'm actually looking forward to getting whatever treatment they have to offer me. But the odd insult, the injury, capita, or I have to go tomorrow at the quarter to one for an assessment for PIP. What will they not oh. understand about cancer? I oh, know. Uh, for those who don't know, uh, capita is uh, the government uh, agency. Uh, agency that, uh, or the government uh, outsourced agency that... Uh, Deals with disability welfare. Yeah, Capita also run PIP as well for the government. For the government. So, I don't know whether I'm going to lose my mobility car or what. But if I do, I'm going to fight it. After all, I have cancer. No, no, and it's not like you. It's not like you were one of these ones that. Uh, sat at home all day, you worked right out of school. I oh, know, uh, right from the day on our left school, I uh, worked in a hotel and was for a few months in the end. I was offered, the hotel that I worked in was in, in Derry, London Derry, and it was called the City Hotel. Unfortunately, it was bombed at the start of the Troubles. I lost my job because of that, and then I was offered a job in a pottery factory called the Ulster Ceramics and they were based in Derry, London Derry. Uh, that's where I learnt my trade. Oh, I've worked the majority of my, my life and to me capita is not an insult to injury but I'll go tomorrow and I'd be calm about it. So I will, but if they lower my benefit in any way at all, like I lose my mobility car, I will fight. So I'll, the same way I'm going to fight the cancer, I'm going to fight to my last breath. Yep. I'm not going to take everything the consultants have to offer me. Yep. I'm not frightened. I was shocked because cancer's in the, fa in the family, it's hereditary. But even so, when they tell you you have a tumour, it frightens you. Oh no. So it does. And I'm trying to involve my daughter, Katrina. I love her very much, you know, and I, I, tr and I involve her in everything about this cancer. Oh no. Even keep her going about her pink nut. Yep. So do you call it the pink nut? <laughs> Where her <laughs> nana sees it on Sunday. <laughs> uh, yeah. uh, you're also giving up the cigarettes, aren't you? Yes. Us from Wednesday. Yep. So, so on. I've... I've banned you from smoking in my car. Yes, she, she has. <laughs> so, but um, she understands, like, smoking is like, is worse. I would say, I've been told that it's worse than taking heroin. 
yeah, the attraction, you know. Well, we will get there. Well, we we will deal with that, you know, the both of us. I know. Like we deal with everything else. I know. And any, I would like to ask if there's any uh, doctors or nurses that knows anything about cancer. I would like them to tell Katrina what kind of treatment they think I might be getting. They said it was a one-off treatment. Yeah, I hate when they do that, they could have told you at least. They couldn't, I phoned them. Nick wouldn't tell me over the phone. It must be something to do with a patient confidentiality or something, you know. But all I was told that the nurses will tell me when I go there on the 17th. So. Yeah. I hate when they do that, they'll leave you in suspense. Yeah. So thanks very much for listening to me. Uh, I've accepted it. You know, let her do have cancer, but... It's still hard. It's still hard, but I try to keep myself busy. And Katrina keeps herself busy to doing YouTube and things yeah, like and that. Yeah, and winding you up as well. And wind me up. And I wind her up about her pink nut. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thanks for listening to me. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Why well, I can't wait until my new desk comes. Uh, I have a stand for my microphone and if you don't attach it to a desk it creates sort of a, a ringing uh, if, when you're using the microphone. So I had to fight for about 10 minutes to get it out off the bracket. So I can't wait until my new desk comes and I'll have to do that every time. Thank you for watching. If you like this video please like, comment and subscribe as usual. And if you're new, please ring the notification bell uh, because YouTube does not notify you when I upload a new video unless you hit the notification bell. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.